Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. We have another uh, one of these fabulous mixed operations problems again uh, for you today. This one uh, is fairly simple, but it uh, does mix multiplication with addition and subtraction. And um, I do show a lot of these problems uh, because I find um, a lot of times when I'm looking on Facebook, there's a lot of wrong answers. There's... Um, more wrong answers than there are correct answers on these. So I feel like uh, even though this is some fairly simple elementary school math, it uh, it's something that needs to be uh, needs to be covered. Uh, so anyhow, the problem here is 55 minus 2 times 10 plus 5 equals what? And uh, if you'd like to, if you're not really sure and you want to work this one out, go ahead and pause the video and uh, we'll come back and work this out together. All right, so first of all, hopefully you do remember your order of operations. Uh, multiplication has always had precedence over addition and subtraction. And I know I'm going to hear a lot of people out there saying, well, the 2 times 10 isn't in brackets. The 2 times 10 is not in parentheses. So you just go left to right. And that is false. Uh, multiplication already has precedence over addition and subtraction. That's always been true. Uh, and your teacher might have said, well, just, you know, go ahead and put parentheses around it to emphasize it, but they're not necessary. Multiplication already has precedence. So you do the multiplication first. I, I realize some people are saying, well, if they meant you to do the multiplication, it would have been listed first. Uh, but that's not how it works. Uh, multiplication has precedence no matter what order it's in the problem here. So uh, it's 55 minus 20. 2 times 10 is 20, and there's a minus sign out front, so it's 55 minus 20 plus 5 equals 40. 40 would be the correct answer. Uh, I know there's a lot of people out there that take the 55 minus 2 and get 53, uh, and then they're multiplying by 10, and I guess what, probably getting, uh, you know, they're getting a really big number, over 500 here, which is incorrect. Uh, another way to remember this, too, is in your order of operations convention, um, we say, said multiplication has precedence, and some people are asking, well, why? Well, multiplication is nothing more than repeated addition. Uh, when you say 2 times 10, 2 times 10 is saying add 10 two times. Or you could be saying, you know, add 2 10 times. It's the same thing. Multiplication is is a shorthand way of writing repeated addition. Now you could take this problem and substitute the 2 times 10, right? Minus 2 times 10 is the same as subtracting 10 twice in this case. So it two, minus 2 times 10 is the same as minus 10 minus 10. And if you substitute the multiplication with the equivalent addition, and in this case, it actually ends up being subtraction because you have the minus sign. It's 55 minus 10 is 35. 35 minus 10 is, uh, I'm sorry, 55 minus 10 is 45. 45 minus 10 is 35. 35 plus 5 is 40. Multiplication is repeated addition. Um, just remember, multiplication has precedence over addition and subtraction. Uh, you don't need parentheses for that to happen either. Uh, review the correct order of operations. And refer to the links in the description for more information. I do have more links uh, on the order of operations. I've got quite a few videos covering the topic. Um, it's been this way forever too, by the way. I know a lot of people like to argue and say uh, that their old school math told them to go left to right. And I guarantee it didn't. Uh, but some people still will like to insist that no matter what. Uh, anyhow, hope the video has been helpful to you. Please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.